year. They are the first ever group of five team to make the college football playoff. I've heard one expert say it's the most significant win in college football ever. Sports anchor Caleb No joins us now. Caleb, how do we feel about this matchup with Alabama? Yeah, hey guys, I'll show you one thing that kind of puts it in perspective here. This is the Vegas odds for every game this season for Cincinnati. I'm not not here to teach you all about Vegas odds, but basically in, in simple form, if there's a minus next to the number, that means Cincinnati was picked to win that game. If there's a plus mark, it's the opposite. They were picked to lose that game. Look at this. They were picked to win every single game this season. Even that game at Notre Dame, Cincinnati was picked to win. But look at this last one on the schedule, the upcoming game against Alabama. 13 and a half point underdogs Cincinnati is against the Crimson Tide. It's, it's not like shocking. I mean, I'm not making these numbers up myself. It's the people in Vegas making their predictions. And look, Alabama's won on this stage time and time again, but Cincinnati's not some startup team. They've got the talent to compete on this stage, and the players say this is a major opportunity. You know, Alabama is one of the top tier programs and we want to we want to consider ourselves the best. We have to play against the best. And, you know, Coach Figgis talked about being a, a top 10 program um, over the past couple of years. And, you know, Alabama has been a, a top 10 program, you know, for as long as we can remember. So, um, you know, it, it's going to be fun to, to see how we stack up against uh, the best of the best. All right. I think the thing to watch for is Cincinnati's defense, right? They've been the X factor this season. Think about it. The goal line stand against Tulsa. Think about how good they looked against Notre Dame for basically the whole game. Now, Alabama's offense looked great against Georgia this past weekend in the SEC championship. But two weeks ago, if you think back to that, they looked subpar against Auburn. I'm sure Cincinnati's coaches are going to take a close look at both of those games when they watch film over the next few weeks, guys.